Okay, so in the UDK, um, I've got here's the the new character now. Um, so yeah, there's the ninja, and um, pretty much uh, all I've got all I've got set up so far for. Uh, for this character is all the basics so I've, I've got the the new skeletal mesh in there I haven't created a physics object for that yet um, and then also what I what I added into the scene is the sword um, which I attached to to the character uh, at you know when, when you run the level so um, and I'll show that setup now so um, in Kismet, I've got uh, pretty much like all my other stuff. Uh, I've got the new attachment over here at uh, level load. I attach uh, my sword into the uh, into the sheath for the uh, on the character, um, and then um, the other stuff that I changed. Uh, on the attack side, um, I made a small change on the on the key pressed event. I actually uh, I actually do the event over here now, and I just run a remote event from that, so I can uh, keep reusing the same uh, key pressed event remotely, um, just in case. I mean, uh, you know, just to be able to to split that up. So uh, I've got that, and then. Um, Okay, the, the switch is still there. I'm just hooking it back up to the same thing for now. It's just temporary until I've got the other animation done. And uh, uh, so what I've uh, what I've got going now extra is uh, I think I think all of this stuff is still the same. So I'm running the uh, the punch node, uh, which is obviously the sword attack. Um, I actually originally wasn't going to use a weapon, but I really wanted to try and add the sword in uh, and be able to uh, um, take it out and put it back and, and use it and stuff like that, and just the ability to do that. And uh, you know, so that that actually all worked out pretty well. Uh, so I'm keeping that. Um, and of course, you know, a ninja without his sword is like, you know, it's just not cool. So <laughs> okay, so. Um, I've got the this stuff that's still pretty much the same, and then what I added for all the new stuff to happen is this part. Um, so when you when you press the key for the to sheath the sword or to take it out, when you um, okay, so what what I do first is I just set the the counter. And I'll get to the counter just now. Um, and then I also set uh, another animation um, which uh, from the previous video you'll remember I, s I mentioned that I've got two sets of animations one with and one w without the sword in hand uh, so when you idle uh, there's a, a unique animation and when you without the sword and another unique animation with the sword so uh, this is the node I use to swap between those two sets of animations. So as soon as you attack, you the within a single move, uh, the sword gets taken out and attacks, and then the sword is in hand. So uh, I switch over to index two of, and I'll show uh, I'll show those things just now the way those are set up in the new anim uh, anim tree. Um, then. Then I I do a delay uh, before uh, putting the back the sword back. So um, I've got an I've just got the initial two second delay before that even starts to happen, and then I've got a, a counter that runs through in a loop. Um, for it, it's got a s one second delay and it's it's got a five target so it's a five second delay on that uh, before the the sword actually gets sheathed again so 
um, that's where this one comes in so when you push attack uh, the counter gets reset to zero and um, the only reason why I'm doing this is so you can keep attacking and keep attacking uh, at any point and the time it takes for the character to put the sword back uh, is always the same it, you, you can't override it in some way so so that happens and then um, I she's the sword and I've actually got it set up which I'll show in the anim tree uh, so it's it's a it's a per bone blend that's only playing that animation on the arm uh, so you can still run and it'll still idle and do whatever else and sheath the sword uh, just with the arm animation um, and then I attach it back to the back of the character instead of the hand and um, I switch back the the main index and uh, the uh, the sheath uh, index and I switch back the main index so that uh, the uh, the non the, you know the the sword out of hand animations gets played so that's pretty much the stuff I needed to add in kismet wise to be able to use the sword and the uh, you know to be able to sheath the sword so I don't want the sword just to always be in his hand I want him to be able to uh, you know within a certain time period if you don't fight any enemies uh, he puts the sword back and as soon as you start fighting it uh, you know uh, I, I don't have a an animation for taking out the sword it happens in a single movement the very first attack you grab the sword and you attack and uh, you know it's the quickest way to do that there's no point in <laughs> you know trying to animate the sword getting taken out uh, so in the next video, I'll I'll show the the new animation tree setups and stuff like that.